guys so today i'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video in today's video i'm going to be breaking down what i believe to be the five best investments currently that are under ten dollars now before we get into that i did want to say real quick this week's giveaway is going to be a lamello ball prism silver and a psa 9 if you would like to enter all you have to do is subscribe like this video comment the word done and we are going to be announcing the giveaway winner on my personal Instagram at it's Kanala who just so definitely give it a follow to go ahead and stay tuned with the giveaway winners now without further ado we are going to hop right into this video um, so the first player that we are going to be targeting um, for my membership program as well is going to be Anthony Simons um, now Anthony Simons has had a pretty good career thus far um, of course he's always been shadowed in Portland by Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum um, but now as of now the news is that Damian Lillard is going to be heading off to another team um, and CJ McCollum's already on the Pelicans um, so since CJ went to the Pelicans Anthony Simons numbers really started to take a jump um, and now with Damian Lillard likely gone um, potentially gone by the time I feel by the time I upload this video um, Anthony Simons is going to likely be one of the key stars that are going to be leading the new Blazers in the rebuild um, you know of course him playing alongside Scoot Henderson um, I believe there's going to be a lot of attention around Portland and I believe Anthony Simons is going to be one of the key pieces of the rebuild um, so a lot of his cards right now can be found under $10 very cheap cards for the caliber player he is, in my opinion. He's a very impressive scorer, um, and he really fits the mold of a player that I feel could draw a lot of hype in the hobby. Um, a player who's electric, who can score, um, young, and of course, one of the key pieces of his young rebuilding team. Um, so I think that really fits what I believe could be you know, a player that starts to take a lot of traction in the hobby. Um, so I do believe Anthony Simons is a really good buy. A lot of his cards are under ten dollars um, for example is red white and blue his select silver um, raws and of course his optic numbers you could potentially get one for under ten dollars so I would definitely recommend that um, now without further ado we're gonna hop right into another piece of the deal um, who could be going away is Damian Lillard um, now Damian Lillard has had the talent he's been an all-star he's been one of the best point guards in the league for a long long time but he simply hasn't been able to win. Um, and if he does end up on a team, you know, that can really embrace him and go for a championship, for example, the Heat, um, I do believe his cards are really going to greatly benefit. Um, a lot of his cards have very low populations, and you can find some of his second-year cards um, for under $10, which I believe is a very good buy given the low population on his cards um, and the superstar caliber he is. Um, so if he can get on a championship team, I believe the hype is really going to be around him. And when he does leave to go go to another team that fan base is going to be buying up his cards um, so I do believe overall Damian Lillard is a really good buy really low prices for the caliber player he is um, so I definitely like a lot of his cards um, now without further ado we're going to hop right into our next pick, and that is going to be Pascal Siakam. Um, now, Pascal Siakam has been in a lot of trade talks um, for the last couple of years, to be honest. Um, he's always had the talent, but the Raptors, since Kawhi left, have not been getting much attention at all, and that has caused his cards to absolutely crash. Um, now, Pascal Siakam has proven he can be an incredibly great Second option, um, it, for example, when he played behind Kawhi, he was one of those, um, you know, big pieces to the championship run that the Raptors went on in 2019. Um, and I do believe Pascal Siakam is going to find himself on another team sooner or later. Um, and I believe his cards are really going to greatly benefit from that, given he has the talent. He's a great second option, but he is simply not the best first option on a team. Um, and that's totally understandable. And I think his cards are really gone down way past where they should be um, you can get an optic PSA 10 of his for literally around ten dollars um, some have sold for around ten dollars like I said um, so I just think the prices are super low populations pretty low first year optic um, a really good buy in my opinion low risk high reward investment for a star like Pascal Siakam um, so without further ado we're going to hop right into the next pick and that is going to be someone I've actually talked about on this channel before um, but that is going to be Devin Vassell um, now Vassell has a great rookie season um, however the Spurs had no attention on them last year um, so he scored nearly nine nearly 20 points per game um, but he just really got no attention because he was on the Spurs um, now now that Victor 
Wemben Yama is on the Spurs, um, and there's a lot of hype driven around the Spurs. I believe Devin Vassell is going to be one of those players who greatly benefits from the amount of attention on the Spurs. They will likely have a lot of national TV games, a lot of media coverage, um, and everyone's going to be watching Wemby, but Devin Vassell is going to be one of the stars on that team potentially the second option behind Wemby. Um, so I think his card's at a very low price, very young, very great score. It really fits the mold for a perfect, you know, little risky investment. Um, any young player is going to have a little risk, but I think the reward right here for under $10 to be getting Prism Silvers of his, um, I believe is a very good buy. Um, so a low risk, high reward investment given the low prices, um, but it's risky whether he's going to pan out or not. Um, so overall, a very good investment. And the last pick is going to be someone very similar along those lines um, for similar reasons. Keldon Johnson, um, you know, he had an amazing season last year. Um, his percentages and his efficiency, I think, needs a little work. But overall, he is a very good score, a streaky score. He can put up 20 points per game and playing alongside Wemby. I believe the hype is going to be around the Spurs. So if there can be any hype that goes on the Spurs, Keldon Johnson's going to get a lot of attention because he's one of the main pieces on the Spurs right now. Um, so I think overall, his cards are going to greatly benefit from Wemby being in San Antonio. Um, so a very good sleeper underground pick. If the Spurs end up being anything next season, Keldon Johnson's cards should see a good increase in price um now we're gonna um close out today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy once again if you would like to go ahead and enter into the mellow ball giveaway subscribe like this video comment the word done other than that i hope you all enjoyed and i'm out peace